In this tutorial, we'll look at some of the basic primitive solids in Grasshopper. So if you go to Surface Primitive, these are all the basic uh, primitive solid geometries you can create. And we'll start by just making a sphere. So with all these components, you need to have inputs, in this case a base plane. By default, it automatically puts in an XY plane and then the radius as one. So um, you can see a sphere is automatically made. If you want to change these, you can just add a number slider. So let's do a slider from two less than 30.00. And to get, uh, one thing I'd like to point out, these numbers that I'm using for the number slider all correspond to the units you have set up in Rhino. So if you go into Rhino and go to Tools, Options, Units, you can change the units in the scene and those will um, then be, these will be referencing those units. So that they're in, in this case, I'm using inches. So 30 corresponds to inches. So um, two less than 30.00, enter and then we can plug that into radius and then change the radius of our sphere. Um, another one that's nice is the cylinder. So if I go to surface primitive um, cylinder, I can again use a base plane by default XY. I'll just copy and paste the radius and turn this off. And then um, you can see that the radius is the radius of the cylinder and then I need a length which is the height of the cylinder. So I'll copy and paste that plug that in there and then that's the length of the cylinder. Um, another nice component is the cap holes. So if you type in cap holes which is located under surface utilities cap you can then plug your cylinder into the cap holes and that will close it off into a solid otherwise it's a hollow cylinder without a top and a bottom. Um, the next one is under surface primitive cone um, so again, XY plane, I'll just copy and paste the um, radius and the length there and then preview these off. So the cone, the radius is the base dimension of the cone and then the length will be the height of the cone. Um, the next one is the center box, so surface primitive center box and this just makes a box. Um, again, the XY plane is the center or the base point. Um, if you want to use like a point as the, the base point, you can actually do that. So if I create a point um, in Rhino and I make a point container object and I contain or set that one point, um, I can use that as the base point for my box. And that's true for any of these geometries. So if you start creating a complex definition that ends up with um, a lot of points, you can use all of those points to locate boxes or spheres or cylinders along those points. Um, you then uh, determine the x, y, z values or the length, the width, and the height of the box. And again, it's all parametric, so you can use the sliders and um, always change those. Notice this is a center box, so the point is located at the center of the box. Um, you can also do a point, if I go to so surface primitive um, box two point, you can use two points to create a box, which will basically be the points that are um, um, diagonal from each other. So if I plug in A and B, Oh, sorry, these need to be points, <laughs> not sliders. So let me go ahead and create another point within Rhino. And I'll use this first point, copy paste, and I'll set the second point, and then plug in the first point and the second point, and then we'll preview all this off. And you can see if I move this point up, move it vertically, um, it uses the diagonal, so the um, extreme diagonal of that, um, those two points to create that box.